Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. In one of my recent videos, I talked about how I kind of failed at doing classic commonplacing. I'm a tech person, I run a startup, I'm on my computer all the time, for better or for worse. But I love using technology to make my life easier. When you write things down, your brain feels less overloaded and less stressed. There's a concept of a second brain by Tego Forte in his book, Building a Second Brain. The idea is that a second brain is an external system that helps you capture, organize, and access ideas and knowledge so that your actual brain can focus on thinking instead of remembering. There are tons of videos on this. I would encourage you to check those out. Common tools that people use to build their second brain are tools like Notion, Obsidian, and Evernote. I personally love using Discord. First of all, it's free. It's available on all of my devices, whether I want to use the browser or the native app, so I don't have to carry a book around, which I think is a big reason why I failed to commonplace traditionally. It's searchable, so you don't need a old style index. You can customize it so much. There are so many controls and you can use it to collaborate with other people. And there's a whole ecosystem of bots that you can use to level up your usage. I feel like it's not a common one that people use, so I wanted to show you how I use my Discord server as my second brain. I'll show you how I set it up and how I use it day to day. Let's get to it. So here is my Discord. Let's do a quick overview of what Discord is. So Discord was created by gamers as a way to better communicate while gaming, but it has evolved a lot from then and it is not only for gaming. A lot of people use it for building communities, some people use it for work, some people use it with their family. There's so many ways to use Discord. And if you're familiar with Slack or Microsoft Teams, tools like those, it is very similar. It's basically group chat with more organization. So you can see a bunch of channels that I have here on the left side. At a high level, what these are on the far left are my servers. And so I have a server for my Twitch community. I have a work server. We have a server for Nookends and I have a server for my brain. So within a server, you can create channels. This is my channel list with a bunch of different things. This is how I organize basically my brain. Channels can either be text-based like you see here, or you can make voice channels. So you can jump in with other people and chat. I don't really use this server for that just because it's more of a take note place where I just dump thoughts. So I don't really need to chat in here, but that's something you can do in Discord. It is also very multimedia. Of course, you can add text, you can add photos, you can add voice clips, you can add videos, all of that stuff. So it makes it very easy to add whatever you want in here. There's also a concept of bots that you can invite to your server that help you do things. I have one bot in Sarah's brain, which is a reminder bot. So whenever there's things like important events or just to do's that I need to do in a timely manner, then I'll use my reminder bot. So it's really nice because I can organize it in one place and it's just really simple. It's really easy for me to open the Discord app, either on my computer or my phone, wherever I'm at, and jot down thoughts as I have them. Okay, so here's how I have mine set up. By default, you get this kind of general channel, and when I have something that I'm thinking about at any given moment that doesn't really fall into a category or one of my other channels, I'll just dump it in here. And maybe I'll go and triage it later, but I usually just dump it in here. And this is also an easy way for me to transfer, you know, images and stuff from my iPad to my PC. It's just it's really easy for me to just send myself a quick message. So I'll dump that in general. You can see all of these channels on the left side here under Sarah private. These are all, as it says, private to me. And so I make channels for work. I have a lot of side hustle related channels. So I have a podcast channel. I have nook ends here. I have fountain pens. I have paracord, a lot of crafting ones, crochet, food, just cooking stuff, music, movies, stuff like that. So anything that is interesting to me. Like if somebody tells me about a new movie or a new show or a book I should read, I might pop it in here. If I have inspiring videos that I see for crochet or paracord, I should really reorganize this. That's also really nice too, is I can just drag stuff around. And so this is a little bit more related shows, movies. I have two movies channels, actually my side hustles I can group together. Yeah, so it's just really easy to organize things. I have a Christmas channel that actually I really like. So whenever I hear from somebody close to me about something they're interested in or something that they almost bought but they didn't for whatever reason or something that I think they could really use, I will jot that down in my Christmas channel. I'm not going to open it because spoilers, but then come Christmas time, I have all of these ideas in this channel so that 
I don't have to think so hard. And I like being a thoughtful gifter. So I feel like this is a really easy way for me to do it. Let me just give you a quick idea of what goes on in some of these channels. So Candy is my work channel. So anything that is work related, I'll pop in here. Just thoughts, anything like that. I have a podcast that I run on Patreon. It's just a personal podcast that I add photos onto. So I'll send myself some photos just as an easy way to grab them. My Nookins channel is actually anything to do with journaling or content ideas or photos from my day that I want to include in my journal. Anything like that, I'll pop into my personal Nookins channel. I have home stuff, so maybe any ideas for things that I want to buy for the house. I have a list of art prints that I have with the measurements. So when I'm shopping for photo frames or something, I have all of the measurements. I have Amazon stuff. Yeah, anything that is home related is in here. I use fountain pens to include inks and pens that friends recommend. I have shows and movies that people recommend. I have recipes that I collect from online or from friends. Crochet, I have some videos or patterns for things that I want to make. Same thing with paracord, I might have some tutorials and inspiration for me. So that's all in here. And then I have a whole section here so you can create sections and I have a whole big section for my Twitch stuff. This is one of the main reasons I started my brain is because I was doing a lot of optimization to my Twitch stream and wanted to make sure that I was really organized. So I have all of that organized here and it's just a way for me to jot down notes but have them be very specific to certain categories that matter in my life. So those are my two main areas, I would say. And then at some point I invited my partner to my brain because there are some things that overlap, right? So for example, you know, there's stuff about our dog, Emmy. So you can see that he's in here, but he's not in any of my other channels. It's super easy to do that by going to your server settings and you can create roles. So I have a Sarah role and a not Sarah role. So anybody who is not Sarah does not have permission to see my private channels. So it's really easy to do that. And then for all of our shared channels, he has access to them. So anything about Emmy, anything that we might want to buy for the house or any like important dates that I want him to remember, anything like that is in our shared channels. The beauty is that you can change this up whenever you want. You can archive channels. I have an archive section down here. So like for side hustles that I'm not really doing anymore or games that I used to play, but don't, you know, I can put them all in this kind of lower section just to archive it and keep it out of the way. But if I really want them to come back, I can easily move them back up. So yeah, this is how I set up my brain and it's super easy to add new channels. So every once in a while, if I have a new, you know, important category of my life, I'll add it to my brain server. I wanted to talk quickly about a couple other digital tools that are really popular when it comes to building a second brain. I don't only use Discord, I also use a couple supplementary tools on top of it. So one of those is Notion. This is a really popular one. It's what we use for our internal team wiki. We have a lot of internal docs here that we use it for. It's a really powerful tool and you can do so many different layouts and customizations to it. I just find for my use when it comes to just for my second brain, I want something that I can easily just dump things into without giving it much thought and I feel like for Notion it requires me to think a little bit more about the layout and where I want to put things and stuff like that so I definitely use it for my work but also for Nookins we have our own Notion where we keep track of content creation ideas anything related to the business our big project right now is getting our shop launched so stuff like that I think it's great for this I also use this other tool called obsidian which I kind of use as a replacement to apple notes it's just a way for me to keep track of meeting notes mostly and I use it for anything that's like long form writing but it's not as well suited for content that has rich media like images or videos or anything like that it is it is mostly text based. However, it is a lot more powerful than I think I'm using it for. So there might be a lot more possibilities, but I find that discord makes it really easy for me to just dump things into. I'm a really big fan of simplicity. So if discord isn't something that you've thought of, I would really consider building something like this just because it's free and it's really powerful but simple at the same time. We also have a Discord server for Nookins. So you can see that we have a bunch of public channels, but we also have our private channel. So this is where we mostly work and ideate together and share inspiration, ideas, 
deadlines, stuff like that is all in here. If you're interested in joining our Discord server, I'll have a link to join down below. But also if you have any questions on anything that I covered in this video, feel free to jump in here, head to the chat channel and ask. We rely on Discord a lot just because we work remotely. I work from Seattle, AJ works from Toronto. And so everything is async and we have them all really organized in here. Okay, I hope maybe that inspired you to try Discord or other tools that aren't naturally seen as second brain tools as your second brain. It's super handy for me because I have so much stuff going on in my life that I want to have it all organized in one easy to access place. And then my sister and I can use it to build nuggets. It is a very important tool for us because we work remotely, so it's really hard to stay in touch without it. We're hoping to get our shop launched by October this year, so make sure you head to nuggets.com and sign up for updates for when our shop launches, especially if you're into journaling, anything to do with planners, stationery, all of that stuff. That's all I have for you today. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.